In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make an object look at another object in geometry nodes, and also how to make a group of instances look at a target object. So let's get started. I've set up a scene in which we have two objects, this little camera, which is the paparazzi, and our well-known Suzanne. Let's start by making the paparazzi look at Suzanne. So in, within geometry nodes, let's start by creating a new one and adding uh, a transform node that will be setting the, the rotation of the paparazzi. Then let's insert Suzanne as an input node because we are going to need her location to make the paparazzi look at her and we are going to use her relative location. Uh, as the, the value of the rotation is in degrees, we have to translate the vector into, into degrees. For that, we'll be using this utility that's align Euler to vector. In, and we're going to feed the location of Suzanne to, into, the, uh, into the vector field. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that the camera uh, or the paparazzi has got the, its Y axis facing that way, which is the, uh, the, the axis we will be on, wanting to align, even though it is pointing the wrong direction, we are going to fix that within geometry nodes. So we'll be using the Y rotation. And this rotation, which is now being output in degrees, we will be fed here into the rotation. So now we have the paparazzi facing backwards to, to Suzanne. Why? Because the, the Y axis was pointing the, the opposite direction. To fix this, we just have to reverse the vector. Uh, and for that, we can, we can just use a simple mathematical node. We'll put the, the vector math node here. And the simplest one to use would be scale, which will, which will allow you to, to just multiply the vector by, um, by, by a single number. So let's multiply it by minus one and the, and the direction of the, of the vector is reversed. And now we have the paparazzi facing Suzanne. If we move Suzanne, you'll notice that the paparazzi is pointing to her, but you also notice that there is a slight a tilt uh, sideways of the camera, which might be undesirable in this case. So, so let's eliminate this tilt. How can we do that? What we're going to do is we have the, the actual rotation coming out of this node. And since it is rotating around the, the Y axis, let's just turn this rotation to zero. How can we do that? Let's just add uh, one of these vector nodes. This would be the separate X, Y, Z. So we, we have this rotation, we fit it into here. Let's, let's connect this one. Now we are going to, to add another node, which is a combined X, Y, Z. And we are only going to bring the X rotation and the Z rotation into this and leave the Y as zero so that there is no rotation at, around the Y axis. And now fit it into the rotation. And as you see now, the, the camera is not tilting anymore. We, we'll, we can move Suzanne around and the camera is going to follow Suzanne without, without the tilt. You can see the difference if we just connect this node here and we bring Suzanne here and you see how it starts tilting the camera sideways. If we just disconnect this, we have it fixed. So this is about aligning one object to another. I will next teach you how to align a group of instances and make it look at a single object. Before starting next stage, let me tell you how you'll make the paparazzi point towards Suzanne when is not placed at the origin, which was the previous case. So first we have to find the vector that defines the position of the paparazzi. 
We also have to know the vector that defines the position of Suzanne. And we are going to subtract B by A. And for that, you just get this, this vector, vector A. You invert it and you add it to, to B, which is actually a subtraction. And the resulting vector will be B minus A. And as you can see, this vector is exactly the one that will define the direction in which the paparazzi points to Suzanne. So if we rotate it according to this vector, we'll have what we need. We'll be applying it right away. So in the second part of the tutorial, make sure to delete the, the script you created for, for the paparazzi, as so it does not interfere with this part. And what we're going to do is, in this grid, we are going to apply several paparazzis on each of the vertexes and make them look at, at Suzanne. So let by selecting the grid, then create uh, some geometry nodes. And let's use mesh to point in here so that you create the points in which we'll be creating the instances of the paparazzi. Let's add instances uh, on points over here and get the paparazzi as an input node. The, the paparazzi will be an instance here. Let's just take the wireframe out. So now we have all these paparazzis on this, on this wall. And we are going to orient them to look at, at Suzanne. So we are going to first add an input node, which is the position, which will represent the position of each of the instances on the, on, on the grid. And we also need the position of Suzanne. So let's input Suzanne into here, a relative position. And as I had explained before, we'll have to subtract the, loca the, um, the, the position of each of the vertexes to the location of Suzanne. So let's add a vector node with math. Let's feed the location as one vector here and the position over here and use subtract. And the resulting vector will have to be converted with the utility to a rotation. So let's bring the align Euler to vector. And let's feed this vector over here. We are going to align the, the y axis as before and feed it into the rotation. So, as before, all of them are facing backwards to Suzanne. Why? Because we have to invert each direction because I've made the y axis facing, facing backwards. So, after we have the, our resulting vector, let's invert it as we did in the in the in the first part of the tutorial we'll go to vector math edit over here and just scale the vector and multiply everything by minus one so we have reversed the direction now if you move suzanne you see that all the paparazzis are looking at her So the process is very similar, but you have to do this operation between vectors of subtracting the, the position of, of Suzanne by, by the position of each of the paparazzis to give you the, the correct direction, as I had explained in the, in the serial bit just before. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial that you've learned with it and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.